Hey, what's going on you guys? Chad Christian from CWC Technologies bringing you another world exclusive. This time I'm bringing you PUBG Player Unknowns Battlegrounds Mobile. So here we go. Let me show you what this looks like. This is the first time that you are going to see this game. It just came out literally within five minutes ago here on mobile. So let's see what it looks like. You can see that the interface pretty much looks the same. You can see there here that you've got solo, duo, and squad mode, just like with the PC version. Let's go ahead and launch the game and see what it looks like. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you click that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. We are running this on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So you guys can also see what this looks like. This does have stereo speakers one here and one here to increase your gaming performance so this is what it looks like this is a world exclusive this has not been shown anywhere else if you guys want to download a copy today i will leave a link down below where you can get yours if you want to see any other games, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. You can see if you click here on the map, you can zoom in on the map. Now you can see on the mobile version that it does not show over here on the left hand side how many players are still in the plane like you can on the PC version. But it does say here players in cabin so you can see the amount that is still left. Now this is the first time that anyone in the U.S. has played this game on mobile. There's the auto run button up there in the upper right. So you can see now that it shows that he's sprinting. Some of the game settings here. So some of the crosshairs you can use. Aim assist. Healing prompt. Display left fire button always on. Peek and fire. You can see that the game auto loots and loads for you. Pick up a couple extra items just in case we need them later in the game. So you can see that's good that uh, since I picked up the crossbow, it does recognize that I will probably need the bolts, so it does pick those up for me. So again, here in the options, if we go through the options, you can see that you can change your graphics to uh, any phone that you have. So if you have a lower running device, you can change the graphic settings. You can change the way that the fire button is set up. Same with the control and the sensitivity, how you'd like to pick up your ammo. So you can see here, auto pickup is on and you can also turn it off. And of course, your audio settings and how you'd like the game to sound. See here on the map, you can zoom in and out. It makes it very convenient. So 
So over here on the right, you've got your control. So you can see jump, duck, and prone if you want to get prone in the game. And somebody took a shot at us. Here we go. We are lagging. We're lagging really bad. And so are they. We're both lagging extremely bad. We have no idea. Now remember that this game just came out, so there will be some lag and some issues. You will get some server issues here. Well, let's shoot them with this. Okay, the leg is so bad we have no idea what's going on. Okay, it says I killed him, but I have no idea where he went. So it says I killed two, but again, I don't know where they're at. <laughs> All right, so we have a glowing crate. That must have been uh, the second guy I killed. Let's click the crate button. It says it's empty. Let's see if we can find the first guy that we killed. I do not see the crate anywhere. Ouch. 